Hi. This is noise, 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 noise. This is Chatty Dad 1. And I want to come to you and talk a little bit. This is uh, one of my other alternate channels that I have. You see, I've learned that I need to have several channels spread out. In case something happens to one, I can still get on another. And I want to try to transfer my videos from one to another. Except I want to take, like, um, Doc Talk and all that, and I want to leave that basically medical. I don't want to put Chatty Dad 1 stuff on Doc Talk. Unless it has something to do with medical things. Um, oh boy, where to start? There's a lot of things going on right now. There is uh, some good things. There's some bad things going on right now. A lot of people have lost their livestock. A lot of people have lost their crops this year. We haven't felt the effect of any of that yet. We've had serious, severe weather. The media is not reporting any of this stuff. They're like a cricket in the night. They're silent. We have a government that has fallen apart before our very eyes. And the people know it. You know it. I know it. The people know it. They know that there's some hard times to come. And that we'd better get ready. And that we've got to get prepared. Mentally and physically. As much as we can. We need to help one another out. We need to form. Neighborhood groups now we don't need to wait until something bad happens we need to form them now get together with your neighbors and have a barbecue talk about a few things get together with your wife and kids discuss if something happens where you will have a meeting point at your home, at a favorite place you like to go, and then have a secondary meeting point. That if you go to the first one and something's bad happened to it and it is no longer there, go to the second one. Have a backup plan. Plan these things now before you need them. I hope we don't need them. I hope none of us need them. But uh, there's a good chance that we will. Because the people in power are hungry for greed. And they no longer listen to the people. They no longer care for the people who put them there. They now think that they are strong enough that they can do what they want. They really do believe this. And it might work for them for a little while until the men, the good men that work for them see exactly what's going down 
and turn and refuse to obey their orders and turn and join the fight on the other side convert the sons of light the good side no longer follow the sons of darkness so make a plan please do it before um, things get bad I think we got a little time left but I don't think we have a decade left I don't think we have five years left we may have we may have a year two years three years we may only have a week no one knows except for the ones that are going to pull the trigger but um, use your head use your mind you know what there's nothing wrong with going to yard sales if you see a yard sale please pull in and help those people out a yard sale is usually a cry for help from those who need it most and they're trying to do it the right way they're trying to make ends meet the only way they know how and that's to sell their stuff man they're selling their the stuff that they that they saved up for that they sacrificed for that they loved so stop in there and, and help them out don't take advantage of them give them as much as you can for what they offer it might not be much to you but it's a lot to them to have to give those things up more than we know more than we know but I hope everyone's doing well as they can be and um, I'm going to continue to do what I can do for you all for myself for as many as I can because God helps those who helps themselves and it rains and the sun shines upon the just as well as the unjust there is no difference there so because somebody's having a bad hard time doesn't mean that they're bad doesn't mean that they're doing wrong doesn't mean that they're evil just means that they're having bad hard times just like anybody can everybody's gonna go through it at some time or another just like Job didn't make Job evil there's a lot of people who point the finger and say look he's having bad things happen because he's bad he's a bad man a bad woman don't get caught up in that help each other out where you can when you can I more and more wish that um, homeless people were able to take a debit card because I truly feel that that was one thing that they had in mind when they were trying to phase out money is phasing out all the homeless people that won't be able to take that debit card because they don't have a machine you see they can only take cash or something of value 
So if all you got is a debit card, but you got something of value, you might think about giving them what you got of value that they might be able to get a few dollars from the pawn shop. Think about it. Think about it. Little ways to help. But until next time, this is Chatty Dad One, or uh, as we'll call it here, noise, or no yes, no yes, no yes, no yes. <laughs> Hope everyone's going to have a good night. Over and out.